Because my background has been in healthcare as a business owner and also as a public health consultant, I would say that cultural competence in healthcare describes the ability to provide clients from diverse backgrounds who have diverse needs, uh, beliefs and different behaviours with a healthcare system that serves their social, cultural and linguistic needs. So to put it more simply, cultural competence works with and for the people that we seek to serve. The rationale for increased cross-cultural, not inter, but cross-cultural communication for organizations is strong and the business uh, benefits are very clear. The skills that participants acquire will improve um, the efficacy of their delivery of services and products. And eventually, of course, this will help the company itself expand their market share. When you do this kind of work, you have to anticipate a wide range of opinions. The intention for me when I do this class is to create a safe space. The agenda is not to agree on any one point necessarily when we're having discussions. It really is uh, about sharing information and um, understanding how other people's opinions have been formed and how it might change your thinking. In the end, participants build trust and rapport with each other and report that they have a greater appreciation for each other as co-walkers. But most importantly, cultural competence training improves the sustainability of a company. It delivers a competitive advantage and it provides a roadmap to success.